Now here, despite promises of a crackdown on Olympic ticket touts, ITV News has found evidence they are doing a roaring trade. At venues across the capital, we found plenty of eager sellers who approached us within minutes and with officials in sight. This report from our consumer editor, Chris Choi. 9am, my first venue, Horse Guards Parade, base for beach volleyball. And within two minutes of arriving, a seller made himself known. He said he had four tickets and gave me reassurances, saying they came from a genuine Italian supply. It's a genuine one. He had three different categories of tickets and was soon on and talking to another potential buyer. And all this despite £20,000 fines and an ongoing crackdown by the police. We want to send that very clear message out to, to ticket out. You're not welcome here. We have officers out at all venues. We will target you, we will arrest you and we will prosecute you. Next venue, Earl's Court, home to Olympic volleyball. As elsewhere, there were plenty of police, games personnel and transport officers. Yet right under their noses, a tout. This one appeared to be working with at least one accomplice. Have you got them to the volleyball? Yeah, how many do you need? I'd have to make a call to find out of my friend. Four. Four. We got four. four. Yeah, we got four. In fact, he told me quantity was no object. For good measure, he threw in his own money-back guarantee. If the tickets turned out to be fakes, he'd give me his phone number so I could get a refund. I'd be genuine one. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'll give you my mobile and you can find me for other events as well. Among the throng of sports fans, a town full of touts. This woman was selling to a Chinese visitor, and not far away, the first seller I'd come across at this venue was back in action, seemingly doing a deal right in the middle of the street. Watching my footage tonight, this ticketing expert says anger at unused seats is playing into the hands of the touts. People will see empty seats on television and realise those tickets are out there, but without a secure resale marketplace, then they're inevitably going to be driven to the black market. But with that comes the risk of fraud and scams. On to Wimbledon. Within minutes, this man illegally offered me a ticket just feet from the official booth, where, incidentally, there were no seats being sold. From organised criminals to opportunists and even well-intentioned amateurs, my tour of the touts today shows an illegal trade is thriving. Chris Choi, ITV News. Quick look at some of the other Olympic headlines.